I'm really excited about this lesson. We're going to be diving into some foundational concepts and doing it in a fun way. You'll see what I mean. Let's get going. All right. So what do we have here? I have a pig. I have a bird. Uh, one block. I can use five. I'm going to just throw stuff down, trying to plan out what could be possible. And you should do the same. I'll talk about it in a sec. Okay, so yeah, it looks like there's definitely going to need to be a turn here. And I'm already over on blocks, and that's fine, because we're just testing stuff out. So feel free to break things. That's what's great about code. Let's see. Whoa, that's a wall. Missed something. Oh yeah, okay, no, it's fine. So we're doing good. Turn left. Now I'm way over on blocks. I would need to move forward a few more times to get to the pig. Yep. But way over. So let's look for a pattern. Where are we repeating? Now, look at this. Move forward. Yep. One, two. Now, if I turn left after I get to that pig at the very end, would that really matter? Not really. And then these are all identical, right? So if you're repeating yourself in code, you really want to think again. Now, if you do use wall path ahead, it probably will work. There's more than one way to solve something. So there's three sides. So my repeat's going to, yep, we got, I set repeat to a three. I'm still over though. I hope you're yelling at me. I have four move forwards in a row. Don't do this. Goodbye. I can do a repeat. It's the same amount of steps each time, but again, maybe I should have done, or not should, maybe I could do wall path head. If it works, it works. But this is one way. And step. First step. All right. So repeat three times. Okay, I got to do this three times. What do I do? I move forward, right? Because I do four times move forward. Hit the bottom, go back to the top, and step. What happens? Oh, okay, I got to do this three more times. Move forward. Two more times, move forward. Everything in that pink mouth repeats. One more time, move forward. Now I'm done. I've done it four times, and I'm going to drop below, and I'll turn left. So once I repeat four times, I turn left. Now I hit the bottom of the outer pink mouth. Oh, wait. I got to do all of that two more times. We've got to repeat it three times. So I drop in and now do four times, move forward. Let's see. Quapow. Victory. Video moving on. Ooh, all right, multiple choice. Keep in mind, once you answer this and hit run, you can't change your answer and it submits to your teacher. If I'm your teacher, that's me. It submits me. But otherwise, keep in mind, once you answer it, once you hit run, you can't change it. So make sure you think about this with me. You want to understand it. All right, we got five blocks here. Let's see. When run, I'm going to repeat until I get to the green piggy. Yep, green piggy. Bacon, want it. Green bacon, me. All right, so what do I do? Everything in that pink mouth thing here, everything repeats once a, until I get to that pig. So repeat a lot of the pig. Do wall path ahead. So as long as there's a path ahead, I'm going to move forward, right? Once I'm done, once there's no more path ahead, that's when I go left. But plop, plop, right? As long as that path is ahead of me, I can keep moving forward. Each time I'm checking if it's true or false. True, there's path ahead or false. And the computer only responds true or false. If there's path ahead, it's true, and I do move forward. And then I have to check again. Once it is false, once there is no longer path ahead, I then no, stop checking, stop running the code in the pink mouth, and end up facing left, turning left. Now what do I do? Well, once I end up turned left, I'm going to go back and repeat until at pig. Well, am I at the pig at this point? Nope. So I do... And now I do look if there's path. I do check again once I'm turned left. Hey, am I at the pig? Nope, I'm not at the pig. So what do I do? I repeat what? I do look if there's path ahead. And I'd keep moving forward until the edge there, where at that point, I, there's no more path ahead. It's false. I turn left and I'm on my final leg. So each of these are just asking the computer a question. First, is there a pig? Am I at the pig? Is, until I'm at the pig, I have to repeat everything inside. So until I'm at the pig, I'm moving forward, unless I hit a wall and I turn left. So I think the bird will make it to the pig. And here I am, checking, hey, is there a wall there? Once there's a wall, I turn left. Otherwise, I'm moving forward, and I stop when I kill myself a pig. Hmm, now what do we have here? This looks kind of like stairs. So that probably means there's going to be a pattern to it. Now I can only use move forward twice, but like I always do, and you should do, I'm going to throw down code and try to get a feel for what this is. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, but test stuff out. So give it a shot. I'll put down some code and then talk about it. So you can see step, 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 but I have way too many blocks. I'm at 12, so there must be repeats in here. No, I don't need a hint. Hmm. Oh yeah, look. Move forward, turn right, move forward, left. Move forward, right, move forward, and then left. 
Now, goodbye, don't repeat yourself in code. Let's use a loop. What loop do we have or what repeat do we have? Yeah, we want to repeat taking steps until we're at our friend the pig. And by friend, I mean mortal enemy. Let's give it a shot. And so what should happen? This is going to keep running till we get to that pig. Yep. Nope. Repeat until that pig. Not a pig. Not a pig. Not a pig. At the pig. Victory. All right, we got one block and we have six we can use. And this looks like what we just did. This looks like stairs again. So I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to throw down some code, see if I can find a pattern, and then try to put it in the loop after the fact. You should try that too. Let me get some stuff down here. So this is looking all right. And again, super similar to last time. And I can keep going. There's a lot of stairs. I'm at 13 blocks, 14 blocks. Yeah. All right. So, what can we do here? We need to get all the way up there, and it's doing the same pattern. Move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right. Hmm. Move forward, left, move forward, right. Hmm. Move forward, left, move forward. Why are we doing this? Don't do this. We don't need to repeat ourselves in code. Be lazy. So, how can I get there? Hmm. Well, it's stairs, so I need to get to the sunflower. Would wall path ahead work? Well, is there a path ahead when I'm at the corner? Hmm. Not so much, right? If I'm looking at the corner, there's no path ahead of me. And the goal, sunflower. Wall path ahead, corner, not so much. Goal, this flower, right? So what if we keep doing those steps until we reach the flower? Everything inside of it will have to be repeated until that end goal is reached. So we check with the computer every time. And if we're not at the flower, the computer says, OK, do run this code. And what are those steps? Well, they're the Block the steps of the steps, right? This code inside that we're repeating is to get up the steps over and over. Are we at the sunflower? Nope. Repeat it all. At the sunflower? Not yet. Repeat it all. At the sunflower? Not yet. Repeat it all. Boom. Awesome. All right. Now what do we got? One block. We have five to use. Hmm. So, ooh, we have only one move forward this time. Throw that out there. And let me keep going. I'm going to take some guesses here. You should do the same. Let's see what works. Now, obviously, yeah, there's going to need to be a bunch of these, but I'm way over already. So how can I get there? Now, what if I use a wall path ahead, right? Loops. So as long as there's path ahead, keep walking. And I know I have to take two steps first. Huh, but I'm still over. So that would work. Wait a minute. This. What about this? A conditional. So this works like a repeat block. If there is path ahead, I'm going to turn left. So it's asking a question here, like repeat until, right? Until we're at the sunflower and the computer says not at the sunflower. Well, the if says and if there's path to the left. If there's path to the left, I do turn left. If that's false, the computer says, nope, you don't have path to the left. I wouldn't turn left, I just move forward. So the only difference, if there's a path to the left, I turn left, and then I jump to the block below it, move forward. If there's not path to the left, I just move forward. So I'm checking every step. So if I check every step, if there's a path to the left, well, wait a minute. If I check every step, I won't miss that left turn. And I'll only turn left when I need to. Hmm. So how could that be used? What could we use here? If I'm going to check, if I need to check, I could check every step. But we can't just take one step. We need more than one step. Boom. Right? So let me throw all this in here. This isn't right. Because now, am I checking every step if there's a path to the left? Nope. Because I have a move block twice, right? So I take two steps before I check if there's a path to the left that next time, and I miss my path. Now, every step, I check. And only if there's a path, if that's true, do I take it. Go, go, go. Yum. Awesome. All right. Okay. We got some turns here. We got, yeah, looking kind of similar to what we've been doing. One move forward. So let me get some code down. Let's try stuff out. Let's break stuff. To just test stuff. The great thing about code is being wrong and testing. Now we're just about there, but super too many blocks. So let's start looking for a pattern for anything that's repeated. Well, I got three move forwards. But wait a minute, then I have four. Well, so instead of doing the three, as long as there's a path ahead, move forward. Cool. Then what do I do? So once there's not a path ahead, I'm going to turn right. Now, instead of putting four move forwards, let's use while there's a path ahead and move forward. So this should do practically the same thing, just with less move forward blocks. 
We're still over, but as long as there's a path ahead, I do move forward. And once that's false, right, once I get to the edge of each side, I turn right. Three times over. Hmm, look at the pattern. I don't need to do it. I don't need to repeat myself. So even using a repeat, I'm still repeating myself. Instead, why don't I say, hey, when, once you get to the sunflower, or as long as, repeat until you're at the sunflower. So over and over, I will repeat moving forward. Once I can no longer move forward, I will turn right. Then I'll check, hey, am I at the sunflower? If I'm not, do, do what? Is there path ahead? Wall path ahead to move forward. So only if there's path ahead am I allowed to move forward. Step and path ahead, move forward. Step each time. And you can see the radar, right? You see the radar shoot each time. Boop. Now there's still path, still path, still path. Now there's no longer path. Nope, rock or gourd, I guess. Since there's no longer path, I don't run move forward. But that won't get highlighted. Turn right does. It drops below. Now what? I hit the repeat. I'm at the sunflower. I'm not. So you're going to see I turn and then I keep going. Turn right again. Am I at the sunflower? Not yet. Oh, awesome. What do we have here? One block out of five. That's a lot of steps. It looks similar, though. It's kind of a square shape, right? So that means similar motions. We're going to be walking in a row and then turning. Walk in a row and then turn. I need to get to that sunflower. Ooh, only one move block allowed. Ah, we got this. Let me throw down some code and then I'll talk about it. All right, with all this built out, let me, and again, I'm just guessing. Obviously we have too much code, but it's going through. So let's take a look at what needs to be repeated. Now, here's pretty obvious, right? Move forward, move forward, move forward. And since it's a square type shape, I'm probably gonna need to turn left again at some point with more move forwards. Okay, so how many sides? One, two, three. And so right away, we can see that that would be a place we could use a loop. However, these sides change how long they are right here. So I can't just say something like repeat until smack. And so it's going to become an issue. Now, what could I do to prevent this and still reuse code? Well, what if I did if? So if there's a path to the left, turn left. Or, or I could also do as long as there's path ahead. And I'm going to show you both. So first, this way. And both of these would work. So as long as there is path ahead, what's going to happen? Run. Well, jump, jump, jump. Each time, so I'm going to repeat until I'm at the flower. Cool. Then what? Okay, as long as there's path ahead, I'm going to check for path. That is true. If this is true, what do I do? I move forward. And then I'll, it will repeat again. Is there still path? True. And it keeps being true. Once I get to here, there's not path out of me here. So this is false. It's done with that part. And it says turn left. Hit the bottom of this. I check then if I'm at the flower. I'm not. So it will repeat this. And I'll keep looking for a path. Right? So again, what this is going to do, I'm going to hit step. Okay, repeat until I'm at the flower. Right now I just checked. Am I at the flower? Nope. So I need to do all this. Do what? Well, there's path. Yep. Is there path? You see all the, see the radar? And as long as this is true, as long as there is path ahead, I do move forward. And then I check again. Now, when this is false, like right here, there's no longer path ahead. So what it does is say, is there path ahead? This is false, so I'm done. I don't move forward, and I drop below, and I'll turn left. Boom. Now what? Well, I hit the bottom of this loop. Am I at the flower I'm about to ask? No, I'm not. So what do I do? Well, is there path ahead? I'll move forward, because I can keep going. I keep looping until I'm at that flower. This works. Another thing that will work, though is what if on every step, I check if I can turn left, right? So every step I say, hey, can I turn left? This will also make sure that I can navigate all the way around because an if statement is not a loop. And maybe I'll check beforehand. An if statement's not a loop, this will only run once. So if there's a path to the left, I'll turn left. Oh, and then I move forward. And so the only time it runs, turn to left, is there's a path to the left. Otherwise, I move forward. Well, actually, if there's a path to the left, I turn left, then move forward. If there's not, I just move forward. But uh we're champions. Ooh, I love the challenges. All right. Oh, this one's difficult. I'm going to throw down code to test it out, and we'll see. What, I'll go through what I got in a sec. You should do the same. Start putting stuff down. So this is pretty difficult. 
I'm trying to figure out a way to get here, but we can only use nine blocks. That's obviously not going to get us all the way there. Whoa. oh So now what I'm doing, and I'm about to die, Zah, <laughs> is as long as there's path ahead, I move forward right here. Okay, the problem is when I get down here, what's it do? Well, there's no longer path ahead, so I'm turning right. Let me see here. What if I turn left? Hmm, that got me farther. And so you can see that I'm just working out for any solution. Then I'm going to look for loops. Okay, uh, turn left after that. And then why don't I do that again? That should get me up here. And then turn left. And I want to walk as long as there's path ahead. And this looks like it's having potential finally. And then what direction? Turn left. Ooh, that's a pattern. And then while there's path ahead, I'll just keep moving forward. And I think that will get me there. Way too many blocks. Okay, so I can only use two move forwards, as we already said. So let's look for repeats. Well, wait a minute. Turn right. And this is what's really nice about just laying out all your code. You can see patterns. I do that five times in a row. What's another way to make all of that repeat? Well, what if... I ask it to keep doing that until I'm at a sunflower. Oop, I guess I get stuck. So what did I leave out here? Hmm. Oh, I lost my turn left, right? So, yep, right there I need to turn right, and then I can repeat, and as long as there's path, I keep going, and then left turn, left turn, left turn, left turn. And I have exactly nine blocks. Yeah! We did it! Now this certainly isn't the most traditional way of doing things, but I want to show you that there's sometimes more than one way to get to the correct solution. Does this run? Does it accomplish the goal? What is it doing? Well, it checks if there's a path to the left first, then it checks if there's a path to the right. So, it allows us, if there's a path to the left, I turn. However, keep in mind then, right under it, I'm asking if there's a path to the right. So sometimes I'm turning twice, but because how this level sets up, it does let us get to the goal. So this is less elegant than the previous one. But keep in mind, sometimes there's more than one way to solve a challenge. All right, this looks similar to some stuff we've done. Let me throw down code and see where it gets me. You do the same. So I'm saying as long as there's path ahead, move forward. And then once I'm out of that, turn right. Because, yep, it's like a square each time. So I'm way over on blocks, but I think this, it will get me there. So let's look for patterns. Well, hopefully you're yelling at me because you see it. Now I'm missing a turn right here. But would it matter if I turn right at the very end once I get to the flower? It wouldn't. So bloop, bloop. Now how do I do this three times? Well, I don't need a number. I can just say, keep doing that until we get to the sunflower. Now, it says, are we at the sunflower? Not yet. So, as long as there's path ahead, move forward. Once there's not, I turn right. We repeat till we're there. Victory onward. All right, let's see what we got. Students, keep in mind, once you click an answer and hit run, you can see what happens, but you can't change your answer, and it gets submitted to your teacher. So, be aware. Let's think about this carefully. Look carefully. Yep, all right. Win run, repeat until we're out of flower. Okay, so everything in this pink mouth thing must happen again and again till we get to a flower. So what do I do? Am I at the flower? Nope, that's false, right? Repeat until I'm there. So I do while there's path ahead. Is there path ahead? Well, yeah. So while there's path ahead, what do I do? I move forward. So if there's path ahead, there is. I move forward. Plop. Then I hit the bottom of this inner loop. Okay, now I check again. As long as there's path ahead, yep, I do move forward. Bottom, check again. So I must get all the way over here, because as long as there's path ahead, I move. When I get to here, I'm facing the wall. Is there path ahead? Finally, right, this would be false. And if this is false, it just goes beneath it. It doesn't move forward anymore because I'm here. There's no longer path ahead. That's false. And so I turn right. Okay, well, so I'm facing this way. Then what happens? I hit the bottom of this, and I check. Am I on a flower? No, I'm facing a wall. Okay, well, then what do I do? Is there path ahead? Do move forward. No, there's not path ahead. So this is false right away because I'm facing the wall. And I turn right again. So now I'm facing this way. Zoop. Not at the flower. So what do I do? I move forward. Zoop. Keep going. Do -do -do. Smack. Okay. I'm facing a wall. So I drop beneath it. What do I do? I turn right. I'm facing a wall. Zoop. Nope. Not at a flower. Is there a path ahead? No. I'm facing a wall. What do I do then? Okay. I don't move forward. I turn right. It looks like I'm just going back and forth in a line. I think I'm going back and forth forever. Now make sure if you aren't, if this isn't clicking for you, you rewatch the explanation. It's real important. 
victory.